Hello and welcome to a brand new video. There's going to be a review, obviously, to you click the I don't know why I do intros like that. It's just Hello, welcome to a brand new video. It's gonna be a review of the they just write that in the description. Anyway, in today's review we are going to be talking about two of the world's most popular apps. Kind of basically from my standpoint, there's tons of apps that have become very popular. My Talking Tom, Minecraft, Pokemon Go, Clash of Clans. But today we're going to be talking about just two of them because they're the only two apps that I know of that, that got really, really popular. So let's start off with the one that's kind of ending towards its legacy, Clash of Clans. And Clash of Clans, whoa, this thing got popular. And it held on to its popularity, too. Pokemon Go, because there's not a lot of stuff in it, it lost it along the way. But Clash of Clans kept up with the demand and made new updates fast. So, but you really can't, you can't judge them for that, the Pokemon Go makers, or uh, Niantic Labs, because they don't have that many workers. So it's not like... They really can do that much, but Clash of Clans was a little bit more fortunate and had about double, I think. I don't know, don't test me on that, but I think they had double the amount of workers on the game, so the game ended up being better, or at least its legacy lasted longer, because Clash of Clans, in my opinion, is still somewhat popular. It's definitely going down on lists and stuff, and it's nowhere near as popular as it used to be, but, you know, it kind of ended, so... Let's start off. So you start off as a village owner that is in charge of defending a village. And you get attacked by goblins as your first mission, and then you can be attacked by other players, join the clans, or you can be with your